Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll demonstrate the for loop iteration control enhancements in Oracle Database 21C. Prior to Oracle Database 21C, the iteration control of a for loop was really basic. By default, the loop variable, called i in these examples, increments by 1 from the lower boundary to the upper boundary. In this example, we see the loop steps up from 1 to 5. Adding the reverse keyword makes the loop variable decrement by 1 from the upper boundary to the lower boundary. In this example, we see the loop steps down from 5 to 1. From Oracle 21C onward, the for loop can do a lot more. We can now string together multiple iteration boundaries as a comma separated list into a single loop definition. In this example, we step forward from 1 to 3, backward from 9 to 7, then forward from 20 to 22. We can alter the increment or decrement of the loop variable using a step. This is known as a stepped range iteration. This example steps forward from 1 to 5 in increments of 2, then steps back from 5 to 1 in decrements of 2. By default, fractional boundaries get rounded to keep the loop variable as an integer. This is true for prior releases also. Oracle 21C allows us to define fractional loop variables by explicitly typing the iterand. But the step is still an increment or decrement of 1 by default. We can also increment or decrement by fractional values using the stepped range iteration syntax with a fractional step. In its most basic form, a single expression iteration is pretty useless, as it gives a single iteration. It becomes interesting when we add the repeat clause. We start with the value 1. For each iteration we multiply the previous value by 5. The upper limit on the loop is defined by the while clause. We also get some new ways to handle collections, including sparse collections. We create a table type of PLS integer, indexed by PLS integer. We create a variable of this type and use a qualified expression to populate it as a sparse collection. Index 1 has the value 20. Index 10 has the value 30. Index 100 has the value 40. The for loop uses values of the collection to loop through the collection. It's not affected by the collection being sparsely populated. When we display the values of i, we see the value of each element in the collection. Repeating the previous example, but using indices of, displays the index of each element rather than the value. Pairs of allows us to access both the index and the value of the items in the collection. We create a table type of varchar2 indexed by PLS integer. We create a variable of that type and populate it using a qualified expression. We loop through the collection using pairs of. Notice two loop variables representing the index and the value. When we display them, we see the index and value for each item in the collection. The when clause skips iteration variable values that don't match the condition. In this example, we use a range of 1 to 10, but will only accept values that are divisible by 3 without a remainder. The while clause stops the loop as soon as the condition is not met. In this example, we use a range of 1 to 10, but stop the loop if the iteration variable is not less than or equal to 5. Clearly, this is a stupid example, but it allows us to see how the while clause works. So we can see from 21C onward, we have a lot more control over for loops. Thanks for watching. 
As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.